Today, we've been asked to cover the important points of the grounding electrode system, and we're going to use NFPA Link to do it. The easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards. Let's get started. One of the first things we need to understand is what is a grounding electrode system? It is comprised of two basic items. One, the grounding electrode, which by definition is a conducting object with direct connection to earth being established. The other is the grounding electrode conductor, and that is a conductor used to connect the system grounded conductor, or we call the neutral conductor, or the equipment to a grounding electrode or a point on the grounding electrode system. So we will switch over to our direct situation, and we actually have a situation. We will go under system, grounding electrode system, and here we have a picture of a grounding electrode system. Again, two main components, grounding electrode conductor, grounding electrode. That could be a concrete encased electrode, could be metal underground water pipe, could be building steel in contact with the earth, could be ground rods, ground ring, or possibly even a ground plate. So you would need to have a grounding electrode and then you have a grounding electrode conductor. Part three of article 250 covers the grounding electrode system and the grounding electrode. When we focus on that as two separate components, we understand the grounding electrode system better. We will go over here to article 250 and load up part three, which actually starts in 250 50 which indicates that the grounding electrode system has to be comprised of the grounding electrodes in 250-52A1 through A7 that are present. Grounding electrode conductors, we're gonna jump down into 250-62. The grounding electrode conductor itself could be copper, aluminum, or copper clad aluminum. The installation of it would be covered in 250.64, and that's gonna cover how it's connected, protected from physical damage, when it doesn't have to be protected from physical damage, and the fact that it has to be continuous. One thing to note is that the grounding electrode conductor is the point from the neutral bar or grounded bar to the grounding electrode. After that, it is considered a bonding jumper. And so that is a different component. We hope that answered a lot of your questions about the grounding electrode system. Be sure to visit nfpa.org forward slash link and give Link a try if you haven't already. As you just saw, Link is truly a window to productivity.